Hi doodle friends, as you probably already know if you've been following along, I do two plan with me's every month. My other journal is more like witchy, spiritual, and this one is just cutesy, fun, a lot of stickers and washi tape, holiday themed, and everyone always says you're dating your bullet journal wrong, but it's not, it's dated for 2021 because I'm giving it away at the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe. I'll probably give it away in November, latest December. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration. Have a fun doodle filled day. I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'll start off by showing the supplies I used. I used a white Signo gel pen, some jelly roll gel pens, a white paint marker, and some skinny washi tape. I'm starting off with the white gel pen. I found that I had to keep going over the letters a few times to make a solid line. It was getting like a little scratchy and I didn't come up with this myself. I saw this June with the popsicles on Pinterest so it's not my original de design but I thought it was so cute and fitting for summer and this is my little bullet journal that I use a ton of stickers and washi tape and I had some popsicle stickers to go along with this so I thought it was perfect and I filled the top of June with um, some colored gel pens and then I filled it in with a white paint marker. I wanted to put paper down first for the quote page because the stickers that I have are see-through and I don't think it looks that good on the craft paper so I wanted a solid co color behind the stickers. Now some of these, like the uh, little quotes, the sweet life with the pineapple, are paper stickers which I love so much more but as you can see the other stickers are see-through but I'm gonna work with what I got and try not to waste money and spend more. I'm using super thin washi tape that is actually meant for your nails. It works really good in bullet journals and I wanted to alternate the colors between white and yellow but for some reason that these specific little nail art washi tapes, the texture of them is different from the ones I normally use, the shiny ones, so I ended up ripping it off because I knew I was gonna have to keep fussing with it and they were just like peeling off really easy so I took that off and put gold instead. Side note, this song is called Beach Pop and I thought it was so fitting for a beachy summery theme so I just had to use this song and I think it worked out really well. So I added June to the top left and then obviously the days of the week. I like to start my weeks on Monday because I'm always off Saturday and Sunday and Monday I go back to work and it just feels like the actual beginning of my week. I did the days in the white gel pen, my Signo gel pen. I do recommend it. I do really like the white jelly roll size 10 gel pen as well. I put some palm tree stickers on the calendar and sunglasses if I could get the darn thing off without ripping it. <laughs> uh, so I just scattered those on the bottom and then I ended up finding some more stickers to go along with it from a different sticker palette. Found some little watermelons and put those everywhere. You gotta have some pretty small stickers with this bullet journal because this is smaller than A5. And I put Rise and Shine which was perfect for summer and I put cheers to the weekend. <laughs> Next up is my moon page. I like to manifest with the full moon, new moon, and waning moon. And as you probably already know, I'm giving this away at the end of the year. So I hope you get good use out of this page. If you don't um, do a journal entry on the exact new moon, full moon day, that's totally fine. The new moon is technically, I think, for like two days or instead of manifesting with the moon whenever you feel like it you could kind of use the new beginnings new moon as um, just something new you're starting in your life and then reflect on that and release any self-limiting beliefs that you have and just write about it on that page and then I made a cute little summer bucket list so hopefully 
You'll make some squares and check those off during summer. I'm lucky and I live in Florida so I pretty much get to go to the beach year round. The beach is like 15 minutes from me and I'm so grateful for it. Alright, we're on to June review. I've got self-care, shows watched, and favorite memory. And then I left a blank one for you to add um, a title in there. And then to finish it off, I gave you two questions to answer, summer theme related. Um, and then I always like to leave two blank pages at the end. Alright, it is time for the final flip through. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration. Make sure to subscribe to get a chance to win this at the end of the year. I'll probably give it away in November, latest December. Have a blessed day and thanks for watching.